Hello everyone. My name is S N Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss gamma function and the property of the gamma function. The property of the gamma function is gamma of one by two. Gamma of one by two is under root pi. Okay. So we prove this result. Now we have here. The gamma of n, gamma of n is integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x. So here instead of x, I am going to take t for our simplicity and in definite integral, the variable is not important. That is e raised to minus t, t raised to n minus 1 with respect to t. Okay, say equation number one. Okay, so here put n is equal to put n is equal to one by two in equation one. Equation one become gamma of one by two is equal to zero to infinity integration e to the power minus t t raised to n is one by two minus one that is minus 1 by 2 raised to t. Okay. So here, here I am convert this integration as a, as a in terms of only a exponential function in term uh, exponential function as a e to the power minus x square. So that I am putting t is equal to put uh, t is equal to x square. Okay. So that the value of the t, the dt is equal to 2x dx. Differentiate here, differential, the dt is equal to 2x dx. Okay. Now limit also change. These are the limit of t. Now new limit for the x. When we put lower limit 0, then x is 0, upper limit infinity, then upper limit is x is equal to infinity. There will be no change for the limit. So it can be written as gamma of 1 by 2 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square. Okay. Now here, here uh, the value of the t, value of the t is, is c here that is value of the t is x square and there is a minus 1 by 2 power and the dt is 2 times x dx. Okay. Now here the 2 is constant term 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square. Now here 2 to cancel simply x to the power minus 1 and here x to the power 1 dx. Now base is same. Base is the same addition of power minus 1 plus 1 that is x raised to 0 and x raised to 0 is 1. 1 into exponential function is exponential function. So we get gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to 2 times 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square with respect to x integration. Okay. Say equation number 2. Now here I am applying the integral property. Integration property. We know the integration integration f of x with respect to x integration f of y with respect to y. It can be written as double integration double integration f of x into f of y with respect to x and then y. Okay. Same result we can use for the definite integral. If the limit a to b, a to b and here a to b, a to b, a to b, a to b. Okay. So here, here the uh, f of x is a is a 2 times e to the power minus x square. See, the f of x is 
2 times e to the power minus x square. And we consider the f of y is 2 times e to the power minus y square. In definite integral, definite integral, the variable is not important. Okay. So here, the under root, uh, sorry, the gamma of 1 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is equal to 2 times 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy. Okay. So this is f of y and this is f of x. So multiplied, suppose this is equation number 3. So here, gamma of 1 by 2 multiplied the 1 and 2. That is gamma of 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. So here, there is a multiplication, integration f of x with respect to x and integration f of y dy. Okay. So you see here, both are the same. Indefinite integral variable is not important. You can write uh, instead of x, uh, y, t, whatever. Okay. So here, the right hand side, I am writing as a double integration, 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity. And here, e to the power minus x square, e to the power minus y square with respect to x, with respect to y. Okay. Is equal to, is equal to 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity. Here, base is same. It can be written as addition of power. That is minus, I am taking minus sign is common, x square plus y square with respect to x, with respect to y. Okay. See, so here in left hand side, it can be written as gamma of 1 by 2. Okay. See here, the 2 is missing here. Sorry. The 2 and here 2. 2 into 2, 4 is here. Here, 4 is here. And here, the gamma 1 by 2, gamma 1 by 2, gamma 1 by 2 bracket square is equal to 4 times. 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity e to the power minus sign is common x square plus y square with respect to x with respect to y. Okay. So here we get the double integration in terms of Cartesian form and the limit. Limit indicate that is the positive quadrant. Okay. Suppose this is x axis. This is the origin x axis. This is the y axis y axis and this is the required required part okay that is uh, 0 to infinity along the x axis and along the y 0 to uh, 0 to infinity and 0 to along the y axis 0 to infinity so total positive quadrant is there okay so here uh, through Cartesian form this integral take the too much time instead of that I am solving this integration using the polar form so here I am transferring this uh, x and y to the polar form that is r and theta. Suppose this is equation number 4. Okay. Now uh, transfer this Cartesian into polar form. For that the use substitution x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta. Okay. x and y transfer to the r and theta. Similarly the dx dy is transfer the dx dy is equal to Jacobian. Jacobian dr d theta. Okay. And we know the Jacobian of the uh, this this r cos theta and r sin theta x equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta is simply r uh, dr d theta. Okay. Now we transfer xy, we transfer dx dy to dr d theta, Jacobian into dr d theta. Now transfer the limit for new variable r and theta. So here, uh, the polar form is there where r is a radius vector and the theta is the angle between the uh, x-axis and whatever the angle made with the radius vector. So here, the uh, we take the limit in this way. The so uh, in this way, the total positive quadrant should be covered. So r is equal to. I am considering the radius vector. Suppose this is the radius vector. This is the radius vector. Okay. The initial point, initial point R is equal to 0. R is equal to 0. 
टू ओके एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट इज इन प्रीटी आर इज इक्वल टू इन प्रीटी आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू इन प्रीटी ओके नाउ रोटेट दिस रेडियस वेक्टर इन दिस वे the total positive quadrant should be covered so we rotate this radius vector from theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi by 2 okay that is theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi by 2 okay in this way the total region is covered so the gamma 1 by 2 bracket square is equal to 4 Zero to pi by two, these are the limit of theta. Then zero to infinity limit of r. You can write here r is equal to zero to infinity, theta equal to zero to infinity. And here e to the power minus. And when we squaring and adding here, then we get the value x square plus y square is equal to r square. So value of the x square plus y square is equal to r square. And the dx dy is Jacobian. Jacobian is r. d r d theta right now here limit are constant so that we can solve independently okay so here i am solving the theta independently four times 0 to pi by 2 pi by 2 uh, d theta okay and 0 to infinity e to the power minus r square r d r okay so here you can solve directly this integration the derivative is present here otherwise you can make the substitution in the second integral okay so here i am uh, using the substitution in the second integral put uh, put uh, minus sorry uh, keep minus and uh, as it is there put r square is equal to uh, r square is equal to suppose uh, uh, we already used t here hmm. so put r is equal to p suppose then 2r dr is equal to dp the limit r is equal to 0 then p is 0 r is equal to infinity p is infinity there will be no change in limit so we get we get four time the integration of first term integration of first term is the integration of d theta is theta 0 to pi by 2 okay and here here the limit is sorry uh, 0 to infinity limit e to the power minus p and the value of r dr is 2 is divided here r dr is equal to dp upon 2 that is dp upon 2 okay now here we get we get here uh, uh, 4 4 and here upper limit pi by 2 minus 0 and here the integration is e raised to minus p divided by minus the derivative of minus p is minus 1 and limit 0 to infinity and here the 2 is present that is 1 by 2 and this 2 into 2 4 4 4 will get cancel okay so here remaining pi and here upper limit upper limit e raised to minus infinity e raised to minus infinity is zero okay minus and this minus 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 plus and e raised to zero e raised to zero is one okay e raised to zero is one here four four will get cancelled so simply pi is remaining this is the pi is remaining okay and the in left hand side the left hand side is Uh, gamma of gamma of one by two bracket square is equal to pi multiplied to the here zero that is zero and plus pi multiplied to the one simply pi is remaining now here pi under root sorry here the pi now taking square root both side therefore the gamma of one by two is equal to when we take the square root both side then there is a plus minus so here we consider the positive Under root pi, okay. So in this way, we prove the gamma of one by two is root pi. 
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर द वॉचिंग वीडियो